Good day, folks. Welcome back to another time video. Um, hope you all seen the last one we put out. It is that time of year again, so we're starting to crank out some videos. Um, this is a pattern I posted on Instagram recently uh, that I got a bunch of questions about. It's pretty well known uh, a lot of places down in the US, over in Europe. It uh, doesn't seem to be as well known or utilized up here. Uh, so I thought I would share it. Um, I saw this a few years back from Lance Egan over at Fly Fish Food and thought I'd give it a whirl. And it's pretty deadly. So um, this is called the Humongous or a variation of the Humongous anyhow. Um, tied pretty much like the original, uh, just with some color tweaks. So feel free to tie it up in your favorite colors. Um, I've got a just a size 10 um, nymph hook here. It's a two extra heavy hook um, with a pretty short shank. It's just a standard size 10. Uh, and then a 1 8 inch tungsten bead. And I've got some olive uh, Danville thread I'm tying with. <clears throat> so short shank hook is kind of key to this pattern. It uh, looks a bit like a woolly bugger and is tied exactly like that, but the proportions are way different. And uh, part of the, I think what makes this thing work so good is the amount of movement it has. So <clears throat> you'll see here shortly. Uh, so I've just tied in and I've gone down the bend just a wee bit there. Um, so now I'm just going to grab a marabou feather and I need, want something with some decent uh, length to it. <clears throat> so I've got this feather kind of uh, somewhat prepared. So it's got nice long fibers on the side and you can peel those fibers off if you'd like. I just don't like these fibers up here. So all I do is come down halfway and just trim that out. And then now when we tie this in, we're gonna get a really nice long and wispy tail that will move in the water a whole lot. So I just trim the marabou, tuck it right in behind the bead and then wrap that and it'll all go underneath the bead and then keep a nice even body. So a little trick that Lance mentions is wrapping down that bend just a little bit. And when you do that, you um, reduce the amount of uh, fouling that you run into. So it doesn't foul as much and it allows you to run a quite a long tail. So um, now I've just got to grab some, this is just fine gold wire or extra small gold wire, whatever you prefer. <clears throat> So I'm just going to tie this in right along the shank there, just like so. And we'll just tuck that back to use a little later. So I think the original used a chenille. Um, I quite like ice dub, uh, especially with lychee type things. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use some brown olive ice dub here. And just dub that onto the thread. Make sure we get enough to wrap up the body here. That looks pretty good. So then I'll just go ahead and wrap as even a body as I can. Up the shank, just like so. Looks pretty good so far. Uh, so now you can use a uh, saddle hackle here if you like. I've been using um, Schloppen. I have these like Schloppen packs that have some of these smaller um, feathers in them. So I've just been using those uh, ever since I started tying these things actually. And they seem to work quite well. I think you get a little bit more movement with them but feel free to use whatever you like. 
Again, I believe the original uses a saddle hackle, but they're pretty similar. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm just going to grab this feather with some pliers. And then when I tied this feather in, I tied it so the kind of concave side was facing down. So you can see when I go to wrap, the fibers are already laying back. So that's what we want to see. So I'll get just, I'm gonna go ahead and reattach that. <clears throat> so we'll get a wrap right up here and just kind of tease those fibers back. Just like so, one full wrap up top and then just nice and spaced out wraps. Shoot for um, three if you can. And then you can come under and uh, capture this wire. <clears throat> and we'll just wrap that. Let's try to not to trap too many fibers there. Hang that up top. Just come through with this. And I'm just wiggling as I go, trying not to trap too much. It's okay, you can brush it out when you're done. <clears throat> and then a couple full wraps up at the head with the wire, and then you can tie it off. And just wiggle her free there. And then I will come in here, nip out that hackle stem, and just clean this collar up just a wee bit. Looks pretty good the way it is. And we'll come straight into a whip finish. If you'd like to put some glue, you can either glue and just wrap a couple wraps or of course, while you're doing your whip finish. <clears throat> Trim that out of there. And just give this a quick brush for any of those trapped fibers from the wire. Sweep all that back. And that's about all there is to it so pretty uh pretty simple tie for sure not a lot to it but um has been deadly on the interior still waters especially at ice off um but certainly worth a tie tie it up in your favorite color combo and uh this one black uh maroon all good colors to try, but this one's certainly my uh, my go-to color. So strip it, or if you got a bit of a breeze on a windy day, feel free to hang it under an indicator. It'll uh, that tail will bob and weave and and uh, look pretty good in there. So yeah, there it is. That's all there is to the uh, humongous. Give it a tie, fish it, let us know how it does for you, and uh, I hope it treats you well like it has us. So there you are. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one, cheers and tight lines.